Okay, here we have a um, question from S1, um, June 2014, International A Level IAL. I think this is from January. This is from January, sorry about that. It's supposed to say January here. Let me fix that. Okay. Um, all right. In a large college, three fifths of the students are male, three tenths of the students are left handed, and one fifth of the male students are left handed. A student is chosen at random. Given that the student is left handed, find the probability that the student is male. And there are no, numerous other questions also which follow on from this. So, my first instinct in a question like this is to make one type of um, something called a logic table, which will make life easy for us and be able to we'll be able to answer um, as many questions as we can from it okay if we fill out this table okay so there's basically a college and the things that we are dealing with here are male students and female students and left-handed students and right-handed students okay that's what we're dealing with here so that's what I have to try to um, sort out here okay all right, so now let's make a, a table then. Let's see if I can do it like this. We're going to have male and female, left handed and right handed. Is the table gone? No? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let me do that again. There we are. Okay, so we got we got male students and female students, and we got left-handed students and right-handed students. Okay, so it says in a large college, okay, three fifths of the students are male. Okay, so the total males, okay, is three fifths. You can say that's three fifths. That's a total of left and right handed together okay of all the students three fifths of all students are male okay three tenths of the students are left handed okay that means this basically this means that two fifths of them are female because I have to add up to one right three tenths of the students are left handed so three tenths of all the students are left handed so this is three tenths over here three tenths of all the students are left handed and one fifth of the male students are left handed so one fifth of the male students are left handed. Okay, so it's one fifth of the male students. It's one fifth times three fifths. Okay, one fifth of those. That's going to give you three over 25. So that's three twenty fifths here. So three over 25 of the male students are left handed. So that means three twenty fifths of all the students are left handed. If because one fifth of the male students are left handed, so one fifth times three fifths will give you the fraction of all the students that are left-handed, okay? So you don't write one-fifth here, you write 3 over 25 because it's one-fifth of that amount which is left-handed. Okay, so now it says a student is chosen at random. Given that the student is left-handed, find the probability that the student is male. Okay, given that the student is left-handed, find the probability that the student is male. So the first thing we've got to do is let's fill in all the missing information. Okay, so I know, for example, to find this, it's going to be 3 tenths minus 3 over 25 okay you can just jump straight to the calculator and do that if you want okay so you have 3 tenths minus 3 over 25 you could do this as decimals actually but as I gave things in fractions it's no problem to continue with fractions so minus 3 over 25 <clears throat> that gives us 9 over 50 so there's 9 over 50 here if you add those together, that gives three tenths. And then I know three twenty fifth, okay, plus something gives us three fifths. So three fifths minus three over twenty five. So let's just go back here. That's three fifths minus three over twenty five. Okay, that's exactly what we need. It gives us twelve over twenty five. Okay, and here. We can see we got 9 over 50, 2 fifths minus 9 over 50. 
of two fifths two fifths minus nine over fifty. Nine over fifty. There we go. That gives us eleven over fifty over here. Okay. And then we can add these together to give us that so it's twelve over twenty five. I don't even know if I need any of these, but we'll just do it anyway. So that's plus 12 over 25. Okay, that gives us 7 tenths. And we can make sure that everything adds up to 1, basically. That adds up to 1, that adds up to 1. It seems like we've got everything that we need. So now we can answer all the different questions they asked us. So a student is chosen at random. Given that the student is left-handed, find the probability that the student is male. So the probability that the student is male, okay, given that they're left-handed. The probability that the student is male, given that they're left-handed, which is the probability of male intersection left-handed over the probability of them being left-handed. Okay, this is conditional probability. So, find the probability that the student is male, given that they are left-handed. Okay, so the intersection between male and left-handed, okay, is 3 over 25 divided by the probability that the left-handed is three-fifths, uh, sorry, ten, three-tenths. The probability of being left-handed is three-tenths. So you're looking at the probability of them being left-handed as we're only looking at the left-handed students. So we're only dealing with the left-handed students. So that's our sample space. And we want to find the probability that the student is male and left-handed. Okay? So that's 3 over 25 times 10 over 3, which gives us a nice easy fraction to deal with. Let's make some more space here. This is January, by the way. Okay, so we're going to have 10 over 25. So 5 goes into 10 2 times, and 25 5 times, so the answer is going to be 2. So that's the answer to part um, A, and I'm going to do part B, just pause it. Okay, so for part B, given that the student is female, find the probability that she is left-handed. So the probability that she's left-handed given that she's female, that's what that means. Given that the student is female, so we're only considering the female students here, so we're only considering these two-fifths of the students, find the probability that she's left-handed, okay? So that's basically the probability of being left-handed intersection with being female over the probability of being female, okay? Conditional probability. So the probability of left-handed and female is 9 over 50. And you have to divide that by the probability of being female, which is 2 fifths. So that gives you 9 over 50 times 5 over 2. Dividing fractions, so that gives you just makes a bit of space here. That gives you cancelling out five, ten. You end up with nine over twenty, and that's your answer in its simplest form. Okay, so that's part B. So you see how easy it is once you've made the table, you can work out anything you need to. Then it says find the probability that the randomly chosen student is male and right-handed. Okay, so you got to find the probability that the, the student is male and right-handed. So male and right-handed is going to be 12 over 25. Simple as that. Okay. Find the probability that the random cho chosen student is male and right-handed. So it's going to be just 12 over 25. Okay. That's the probability of being male and right-handed. Okay. Seems a lot. It seems really easy to do this, but the other methods do require a bit, a bit of working to find that. Once you've done this table, you've done all that working, kind of beforehand, all right? So that's why it seems really uh, that's a bit simple for a question. But actually, you've done all the working when you made this table. Okay, this ta these tables are very useful in this type of question. And then part, the final part of the question says two students are chosen at random. Find the probability that one student is left-handed and one is right-handed. Okay, so the probability of being uh, left-handed is 3 over 10. 
okay, and the probability of being right-handed is 7 over 10. So you've got to find the probability that one is left-handed and one is right-handed. So you've got the probability of a left-handed student and a right-hand student plus the probability of the first being right-handed and the second being left-handed. So this is very important. You don't just consider one of them. Okay, so you find the probability of the first being left-handed and the second being right-handed and you add to that the probability of, okay, the first one being right, um, right-handed and the second being left-handed. Okay, so here we don't have uh, numbers and stuff like that, so we just use a bit the raw probabilities here. So you've got left-handed and right-handed. Okay, so left-handed is three-tenths. You're going to have three-tenths, three-tenths times um, seven over ten plus seven over ten times three over ten, which actually gives us the same thing as two times one of them. So you end up with 21 over 100 plus 21 over 100, which is 42 over 100, which is 21 over 50. And there we have the answers to all of those questions. Now remember, sorry, this is actually January 2014. That's a bit wrong everywhere there. Okay? So there we have the answers to these questions. Um, I hope that was clear. So these, these logic tables are really useful in finding the answers to such type of questions. Okay? All your working is done in making, making that table, and it's quite logical. Okay? So... Um, Thank you for watching.